It's taken a fair amount of time and a keener pricing strategy to persuade people that the Fiat 500 is a fun and funky commuter and not just a corny automotive fashion accessory with a limited shelf life. No wonder then that we're seeing more and more Fiat 500s on our roads, but not all 500s are created equal. If you've been watching RPM TV regularly, you may have seen Spike's insert on the 500 Abarth. You'll also know that Abarth is to Fiat what M is to BMW and AMG to Mercedes. In other words, the 500 Abarth is a performance version of the standard model. But as it turns out, even the Abarth comes in a choice of dynamic flavors. The Abarth is the equivalent of a strong espresso. The Abarth SS is a double espresso with a dash of grappa. It's not difficult to tell the Fiat 500 Abarth apart from your normal bread and butter Fiat 500. It has a racy body kit, a lower stance because of the sporty suspension, and this extended nose to make space for the 1400cc turbo engine. But to tell an Abarth and an Abarth SS apart is much, much more difficult. In fact, it's really only the badging that tells you the difference from the outside. The Abarth SS shares the standard Abarth's exterior execution, which means it gets bigger wheels shot with fatter, lower profile rubber, a body kit designed to add some muscle to the Sweetie Pie design of the standard model, and the more aggressive pout of that extended front end, complete with a deeper front air dam and additional cooling slots. The rear apron offers a home to a dual set of bazooka exhausts, and there's a larger roof-mounted spoiler. The SS's badging provides the only obvious visual clue to the Abarth's special status, although those with an eye for detail may spot the uprated brake discs and the even lower ride height. The cabin is also more Abarth than SS. You get these nicely sculpted bucket seats, a comprehensive array of instruments including this turbo gauge over here, and a long list of standard features. But you really need to turn the key of this car before you realize what its true character is all about. The cabin remains inviting with an emphasis on retro style together with a bright and quirky execution. The bucket seats provide good support but feel almost too bulky for the available space. The materials are decent enough and as mentioned, there's enough standard kit to ensure ample comfort and convenience. But it's still a small car with limited rear accommodation and luggage space. However, the real focus of the SS is on performance. You need to open the bonnet to find out more about the SS story. The engine is still a 1.4 litre turbocharged unit, but the boost has been upped and power now moves from 99 kilowatts to 118 kilowatts. Torque, 206 newton meters to 230 newton meters. That's 19% more power and 12% more torque. The extra urge of the SS is essentially achieved via a bolt-on kit and can even be installed up to 10,000 kilometers after the initial purchase of the car. While the basic engine remains the same, the remapped electronics and extra turbo boost account for its elevated performance. Fortunately, the bigger brakes and new suspension bits ensure that the Abarth can cope with the extra muscle. The SS sounds gruff and purposeful with a snap, crackle, pop exhaust note that's more race car than road commuter. The ride is a bit on the bouncy side mainly because of the short wheelbase, but there's a surprising amount of grip and there's no body roll to speak of because of the lowered Kony suspension. Those Kony shocks are part of a handling package that also includes new stiffer springs and a reduced ride height, which is the key to the little Fiat's surprising composure. The brake discs are larger and perforated for improved cooling and bite. In straight line terms, the SS rockets from rest to 100 km an hour in 7.4 seconds, while it's capable of a 211 km an hour top speed. The Fiat 500 Abarth SS is not your average Fiat 500, and we also know that special talents come at a special price. Given that the baseline Fiat 500 costs 126,000 Rand, the 267,000 Rand price tag for the SS seems a little bit on the steep side. However, I also think that people who are going to buy this car are not going to worry too much about the price tag. They're buying it for its unusual personality and its unusual dynamics. Plus, in terms of fun per Rand terms, it's actually pretty decent value. With more turbo zest and improved chassis and better brakes, the Abarth SS propels the Fiat 500 to unexpectedly lofty dynamic heights. While the standard Abarth is rapid, the SS is the real pocket rocket deal, but for some, the visual differences will be too understated, while the price tag isn't exactly modest either. 